My name is Ava, and today we're going to be reading a story called Birdie's Big Girl Shoes by Sujean Rim. Thank you to Little Brown and Company for publishing this story. So what do you think Birdie's going to be doing in this story? Well, let's start reading to find out. Whenever Birdie's mother got ready in the morning, Birdie was there to help. She would start by picking out the sparkly jewelry. Next, she would find the perfect pair of sunglasses. Then her dog, Monster, would help her choose just the right perfume. But more than anything in the whole wide world, Birdie longed to wear her mother's shoes. She loved her crocodile pumps and her summer peep toes and all her strappy sandals. Wow, that's a lot of shoes. We can sure tell that Birdie really likes shoes. I can identify with Birdie because I really liked to wear my mom's high heels when I was younger. Birdie couldn't wait a minute longer. Mommy, I think I'm ready to wear big girl shoes. Monster wasn't so sure. Birdie, you'll have years and years to wear high heels, her mother said. I promise. So what do you think the problem is in the story? Right, it's that Birdie really wants to wear those high heels but her mother doesn't think it's the best idea because she can trip and fall and be really sore. Birdie imagined how grown up she'd feel dancing in high heels. She thought about how much better she would be at hide and seek. Monster would never find her. She pictured how fun it would be to cartwheel in beautiful shoes, her feet glittering in midair. Mommy, Birdie asked again later, could I wear your shoes just for a little while? Oh, Birdie, her mother said. I promise to be careful. Cross my heart. Pretty please? I wonder if her mom will really allow it. Birdie's mother looked into her daughter's hopeful eyes. Well, okay, sweetheart, but you have to be very careful. I will, I will, I will, she promised, then raced to her mother's shoe closet. Birdie carefully slipped her little toes into one shoe, then slid into the other. She looked at herself in the mirror and gasped. She felt beautiful. She felt glamorous. She felt like a movie star. Wow, this book has a lot of colorful illustrations. Let's shim sham, monster, said Birdie as she started to dance. But twisting wasn't easy in wobbly peak toes. Let's play hide and seek instead. I'll hide first, she decided. But hiding was impossible with pointy Mary Janes sticking out. Cartwheel time, Bertie shouted. But landing sure was tricky in sky-high stilettos. Bertie looked down. Her feet were sore and her knees were scraped. This is no fun, Bertie thought. She knew just what she needed to do. So how did Bertie feel after being in those high heels for a while? Right. Her feet were really sore and her knees were scraped. She felt really tired. First she kicked off one shoe, then she kicked off the other. Barefoot Birdie did the best cartwheels she'd ever done. She tangoed and hand spun and grangitated all across the living room. At bedtime she played hide and seek. Her mother couldn't find her. Here I am. From that day on, Birdie decided she wasn't quite ready for grown-up shoes yet. For now, she liked her beautiful barefoot shoes most of all. The end. So what do you think this story is trying to teach us? Right, it's teaching us that you don't need to grow up fast. Everyone wears different things based on what they feel comfortable in. You can be barefoot, you can wear high heels if you feel comfortable in high heels. Everyone has a different preference. I hope you enjoyed reading this story with me. I'll see you all next time.